without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to one of our on-air personalities, Sharon Carpenter. If you want to get to know me, just turn on your radio. I don't want to talk, I speak through this area. And of course, it's all about the big game here in New York City. Later in the day, fans finally got what they've been waiting for. Give it up for yeah. the we know in best first portrayal of Dr. Sheldon Hawks in CSI New York. Already you may fun. recognize our next guest as the former stars of the highly successful TV series Charmed. Now they're back together again in the new show Off the Map with Shannon and Holly. Yeah, Sharon, you say? Very awkward. Stephanie Carter is not special here because Joe Biden does this to anyone who he can actually get close to. Yes. He's done it to Hillary Clinton. <laughs> He's done it to wives, girlfriends, mothers, and he still hasn't learned this is not a good look for anyone involved. I saw you at the Spike Lee sneaker jam. It was on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. You were there with yes. your BFF. Yes. No special man on Valentine's Day, because you know there are a lot of rumors well, out there, of there, course, about know. a particular rapper <laughs> named Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I, I did actually have a Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. uh, I might not have displayed it to the world. You guys are a good looking couple <laughs> if you ever got together. All right. Me and you would make a good looking couple. How about wow. that? She's single. <laughs> we can I'm arrange something. Like... <laughs> well, I'm single, but are you single? Absolutely. Absolutely, I am. Anyway, next question. Next question. <laughs> Audience members were commenting on your breasts because they looked extra perky. <laughs> and so it started the rumor that you may be pregnant. Oh my God, I know. But can you please set the record straight for us right now? Are you or are you not? I am pregnant. not pregnant. <laughs> You've had beef in the past with Brandy uh, Glanville mm -hmm. um, because of your relationship <laughs> with Eddie Cibrian from the past. Right. Did you watch her on Apprentice, Celebrity Apprentice? No. You guys still aren't on good terms? No. Did Eddie contact you to say congratulations on the wedding? No, but Leanne did, actually. Oh, she did. Wow. Oh, so you have a good relationship with Leanne. I mean, it's a Twitter relationship. And give it up for the one and only journalist friend to the show, Sharon Carpenter. <laughs> Tony has made a big mistake, and here's why. I understand that the movie theaters decided to pull the movie over safety reasons, but Sony has opened up this can of worms. Now they're giving up, and they're setting a precedent where we're giving in to terrorists. So what's going to happen the next time there's a movie out or a book out, an article um, that somebody isn't loving? You can actually get a positive message from this, the yeah. fact that you can be a teen mom and still go to school. Is this fashion or is this freaky? This is fashion if you're with two models. This is not fashion when you're with your two sons. Yeah. I kind of have to disagree. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I think everyone knows at this point that Michael Jackson... No, they not don't. Not at all. No. They oh should. They should. Like they should know that Michael Jackson is there. I think the technology was amazing. I think it really captured the essence of Michael Jackson as a performer and as a singer. And it has helped really solidify his legacy. He's asking for the state of Massachusetts to pardon him for a crime he committed when he was 16 years old. It was a robbery that took place at a store and he assaulted somebody. He punched someone, a man in the face, and blinded the man permanently. He was convicted, charged and convicted as an adult. He served 45 days. One of the reasons he's asking for the pardon is because he wants people to realize he's a different person to who he was back in the 80s. And the other reason is because apparently he wants to work alongside law enforcement, which he's unable uh. to do as a convicted criminal, mm -hmm. um, to help at-risk youth. A provocative new book claims to have the answer to what men really want in relationships and why they cheat. And of course, it's getting a ton of buzz. Tons. You guys found out some facts about lying and why men lie. <laughs> <laughs> we want to get to the bottom of this yeah. one as well. Why do men lie? Sometimes it's just you can't handle the truth. The YouTube Music Awards is far from your average award show. Now, Tyler, you had a few words about the award show on Twitter. Two f***ing idiots decided to do the same Gaga, what is this in your mouth? I want to ask you about the essay Brad Paisley wrote the essay about you. He said that you're not really into small talk and it's difficult for you to hide your feelings, that right? Is. That's true. That is very true. And what does a possible presidential contender listen to before a big speech? Do you listen to music to, to get you in the mood, to get you ready to go out there? You remember Chumba Wumba, Chumba Wumba, Tub Thumping? 1997. That uh, you know that'll really get you up and up and motivated. That's what gets you ready for. Yeah, speech. And it's about revolt. It's about you know passion and revolution. 